Let's practice some prime factorization. List the first four prime numbers. The first four prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, and 7. 1 is not considered prime. When a number can be broken down to simply 1 and itself, we consider this a prime number. Now let's find the prime factorization of 27,000. Let's break this down to 27 times 1,000. 27 can be broken down to 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 times 9, whereas 1,000 can be broken down to 10 times 10 times 10. So as we break things down, we can have either two factors or even three factors. 10 is the same thing as 2 times 5. And so we have lots of children. We have 2s, 3 of them. So this is equals to 2 times 2 times 2. And we have 3s, 3 times 3 times 3. And we have fives. So the prime factorization of 27,000 is 2 cubed multiplied by 3 cubed multiplied by 5 cubed. What are the factors of 12? 12 can be broken down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Each of these numbers, each of these factors fit into 12. Remember to include 1 and the number itself. Now let's find the GCF and LCM of 10 and 15. So let's begin by copying down these numbers and drawing a nice L. What number fits into both 10 and 15? That would be 5. 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times 3 is 15. So this number here is your GCF, the biggest number that fits into both 10 and 15. Now the numbers 2 and 3 are prime numbers, so we're done. The LCM is simply 5 times 2 times 3, all these numbers multiplied. So the GCF here is 5, and the LCM is 5 times 2 is 10, times 3 is 30. Now let's try 8, 12, and 20. What's the biggest number that fits in? Let's try 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 5 is 20. And when we look at these numbers here at the bottom, we can no longer pull numbers out. So this here is our GCF. The GCF is 4. And the LCM is all these numbers multiplied. So the LCM is 120. Finally, let's try 6, 20, and 30. We draw the L. You can try pulling out a number here. Let's try pulling out 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 10 is 20. And 2 times 15 is 30. We try drawing another level. And what number fits into both 3, 10, and 15? Nothing. So we're done. The GCF is 2. The GCF must fit into all three numbers. However, for the LCM, we can keep on going. What number fits into 10 and 15? And the number is 5. 
So 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. As long as there's two numbers in which you can pull out a factor, you keep on going. Now this 3 is the number that's left out, so we just drop it down. Let's pay attention to the 3s. We can keep on going here. So pull out a 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. And this number 2 we just drop down. So finally we only have prime numbers, so we're done. We find the LCM by multiplying all these numbers. 2 times 5 times 3 times 1 times 2 times 1, which is 60. So 60 is the LCM.